skills in ICT. And that's part of the biggest impact of all for me. Um, and certainly at the end of it all, it has impacted on the learning of my students. <coughs> I've mentioned the virtual uh, world that we all live in as well, um, and the social network of NIM, which has now got to be transferred over into the... Uh, Briefly, um, saying a couple of words about some social media tools. It's, we're all out in the wild now. It's, it's not the, the sandbox of e twenty, <laughs> But we're out in the wild there. And uh, why not? I mean, uh, using e twenty tools and e twenty. Web is super, and, but uh, I think in many cases it's really useful to uh, to be familiar with with those uh, other tools as well that are getting really huge in the world. <coughs> and um, um, before I forget, yeah, we got a, a web room for for the uh, workshop of this CDW, if you like, uh, on. Um, Today's me. That's a uh, free web service that anyone can use to create a web room uh, where people can enter comments. It's not a chat, basically. It doesn't work that well as a chat either. But it's a great way to enable the audience to uh, punch in some comments uh, about what you're, what, what you're talking about. Yeah, and, uh, <coughs> backs me all the way. He really wants this for the school, so it's good to have the freedom and the support of your management. Without it. Apathy of college, again in the beginning, it's hard sometimes to win over your colleagues that think, oh no, it's just some more we've got to do, what we've got to do now, more workload, heavy workload. But if you present it to them that it's actually making their job easier because they, work, they can work <coughs> through the curriculum that they're absolutely using, the children are going to be motivated and it's going to raise standards. Um, make their job a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, like pupils, they will not be able to see the staff room. This is where you can maybe put planning documents for the project, anything you want to discuss that won't be an actual activity. We saw earlier this morning that one of our ambassadors had used this area um, in the project activities. They'd had things for the pupils to do, and then they kept the answers in the staff room so that they could share things that way and the pupils couldn't see them. Similarly, the pupils' corner in somewhere where the pupils can go. And the idea behind this, of course you can still see this as well. You can see absolutely everything that the pupils will be able to see. But it's somewhere for the pupils to communicate with one another if they want to. So they can update blogs about what they might be doing on their holidays or you know what they, their favourite meal is, whatever you want it to be. And they can also um, upload images and documents there. And again, you would have full there is a chat function here, which if you and your project partners are online at the same time, then it's both access and you can chat to each other real time. It's, uh, it's typing rather than actually speaking to one another. But you work around everything else and, and add all the other content. Stage, as you what that we've identified is coming up with the idea of the project, the concept. Um, it can be a subject, it can be a product you're looking for, uh, it can be lots of things. Um, then you have that whole stage of planning out the project that involves not only um, identifying what you want to start with, but also how you want to communicate with your partners, what frequency you want to um, have contact with them, like an email every week, um, are there people within your school you can work with, what are the activities, it's all of that, that, that stuff that happens before the project begins that allows it to function correctly. Um, so project planning it can be uh, actually on uh, several mini stages. So I mean, that's something that you want to think about. Uh, we've done lots and lots of things with this, but we've looked at them as learning tools. You may have noticed these out on the display outside. Uh, if you look very carefully, you would notice that they're, they're all different. They all initially look the same. What you need to realise what this actually is, is a mobile phone, a QR code reader. Take your phone. Show your phone the QR, using the QR reader the, this pattern on here, and providing you have internet access, it will take you in this particular case to our twin space for our. It's uh, very familiar to most of you. If there's anybody here who actually went to the very first E20 uh, event, it was in a cellar, very similar to people who went down in the caves yesterday. Um, it was underground, there was no windows. Um, and this was 80 computers for about 500 people. Um, so to get our project ideas out, we ended up using post-its on the wall uh, as well. 
his precious beginnings, I have to say that uh, what's moved on has been absolutely phenomenal. One thing perhaps for those people who are coming into e-twinning now is it has never always been there. That sounds a very obvious thing to say. But the effort, energy that people had to put in to set up e-twinning right across the whole year, they really were heroes. The CSS, and not all the same people are still in the CSS as were there at the beginning, but the team that actually took a concept, an idea, and developed that into something that is now pan-European, were really pushing frontiers, and not just educational or pedagogical frontiers, they were actually pushing technical 